Which sounds like a lot of fun. I have a work shirt. Like you. You have a work shirt like me? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> look, at, look at this. Do you even have a collar? Looks good. I just found a bum bum. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> you are a silly butt. You actually kind of scared me a little bit there, Frankie Jane. Do you know why? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Do you know why you scared me? It's because I didn't hear anything. And then I heard your toy go off. And I'm like, oh, what is that? What is that? And then I really, really hoped it was Frankie with this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> and thankfully it was. And you came and found me. What? Uh, that's Dad's blanket. I don't know. That bump? Yeah. Well, if it is an Icarus and there's something behind it, maybe it's a pillow or something. It's a pillow! Oh my goodness, it's a pillow? Yeah. That's so good. I was worried it was like a monster or something. I just found a bumpy bump. You found a bumpy bump? <laughs> Can you get up? Oh, oh. Yeah. You made it. Great job. So. <laughs> what? Baby Momo. You want Baby Momo on? You want Baby Momo in general or on my laptop? You said. Okay. I guess I'm okay with this. So, Frankie Jane, woo! It's just you and me tonight. Mama went to work, and so it's just Da and Frank. <laughs> Which sounds like a lot of fun. I have a work shirt like you. You have a work shirt like me? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> look, at, look at this. Do you even have a collar? Looks good. And buttons. That's awesome. My goodness. You fixed it. I fixed it? Yes. Good. I'm glad. I don't know what's broken. <laughs> I have a work shirt like you! Yeah, you have a work shirt like me. I have a work shirt like you. Yours is a bit more, more sparkly than mine. Frankie and I just had a kind of a chill out evening. Since it was just me and her, uh, it was nice just to watch some YouTube, relax, and share a moment. What happened, Frank Jane? I got you mermaids. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what happened? They're both stuck. They're both stuck? Yeah. Yeah. Should we try to fix that? No. You're going to sleep like that? Yeah. Alright. We should change your jammy top, though. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Maybe. No. Okay, then we shouldn't change your jammy top. You need to wear that all night. Okay. 
Okay. Ah. I was hoping reverse psychology would work. Oh my goodness. All right. Are you trying to go over? Woo! Got it! Hey, Daddy! Hey, Frankie! What are you doing? Come in. Come, come in to my house! How about you come into my house and we'll go to bed over here in this nice warm bed? Hmm. Hmm. Um, go to my house. Then we, we go to your house, Daddy. Let's go sleep. Okay. That's one more thing. One more thing? Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Mommy says it's almost I thought I'd show off our automatic door closer since uh, I haven't shown it off in a while and I'm actually super proud of this thing. So ultimately we needed a way for Icarus and Frankie to be able to get in and out of the, the bedroom but still keeping the door closed because we need to keep heat in for our space heater and also um, it also kept any humidity in if we were using our humidifier. So in order to do that we need something that would like automatically close the door so that Icarus could easily sneak in with whatever little bit of space he needed and also little fingers wouldn't get squished if it came slamming back on there. So kind of the quick and easy way to do this was some kind of hooking mechanism. So we actually have literally that's a mug hook that we bought from the store from Woodman's of all places had this kind of like little hook you're supposed to put in your kitchen to hold up mugs or cups or whatever and it's a perfect kind of easy flowing like hooking mechanism to transfer the obviously the weight from our kind of homemade little weight here and all this is is it's literally a plastic bag inside with sand and it's nice and soft so if it hits anything even though it's kind of heavy it doesn't it can you know it'll deform if it hits anything I already made that mistake of putting like some tiny stones and pebbles in there and they don't deform obviously and when they land on your foot it hurts a lot. So don't do that. And uh, yeah, I just literally nailed a string to the door. And this string doesn't last indefinitely, but now that we got the nice little hook, it ends up lasting about, about a year easily. And I'm sure if I greased it up or did some other changes to it, it'd probably last even longer. But this was the, the quickest and easy way, way to do it. And also to kind of keep a little gap here so that Icarus can kind of get his paw through here and open it. And also so Frankie can grab the door without having to like, well, originally she couldn't reach the handle. So uh, this was a kind of an easy way to do that was to put um, I just a blanket actually. And it ends up being soft enough that it catches it and doesn't isn't jarring. But it also prevents fingers from being squished. See? Pretty cool. there. Hi Frank. Oh, you're so much taller. Got an extra like foot on you. Very good. I step on this tool. Yeah. I step on this tool. It's my, it's my, it's special to me. It's special to you? Yes. That's you, wonderful. You can't break it. I won't break it, I promise. I won't even use it honestly. It'll be all you Frank, okay? I guess yeah, you're just the right size. You're right. It helps you reach light switches and stuff. And it's small enough that you can pick it up and move it, which is really important. Uh oh, I gotta go potty. Oh, you gotta go potty? Okay. Go potty. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good night. Have Are you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, 
all done. You want to turn it off? I want to. You will hold it. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>